speaking of getting people's attention, one thing that probably will jump out at you if you're in Hawaii is a butt naked man with uh, Yakuza tattoos washing up on the beach, <laughs> which is what the reveal for Yakuza, or I guess Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is, which is the sequel to Like a Dragon, which is technically uh, the main line, the ninth uh, Yakuza entry. Um, but it's still, I think, like the best, I think it's the, maybe the best reveal trailer ever. I, I keep thinking about this. Not not because the naked guy, just because the overall sort of presentation, the whole thing. Um, oh, here here's some reasons that I think this is just this is swinging for the fences and totally just deserved. This is the ninth mainline entry in the series. Uh, this franchise does not need people's approval. It is doing what it wants to do. And uh, if you're not if, if you're not interested, then go to hell. You know, this is they don't they don't even they're not even they're not even trying to impress people. They're just like, yeah, here's a video of a guy on a beach and he's not wearing clothes. Guess what? It's an Austin Powers joke. Yeah, and that's it is the best time <laughs> is the best version of this Austin Powers joke since I don't know that original Austin Powers joke. Like it's just the gag of like yeah, what if there were things <laughs> in the foreground blocking his genitals? Ha ha ha. Anyway, rinse and repeat. Um mm -hmm. I don't know. I like that. I appreciate that. Um definitely following the wonderful tradition of uh, a naked guy on a beach that was uh death stranding, you know? Uh I love mm -hmm. you just love a, I love the the confidence of a tra I don't even know if that was supposed to be a parody of that of just hey it's a naked guy at a beach causing confusion definitely different tone and pacing from Death Stranding whatever that's a very <laughs> uh, short list of games that do that it's pretty much those two um these games are actually that weird they, I feel like sometimes you get trailers that are super goofy and off offbeat and then you play the actual game and you're like oh that was just really good marketing uh this is only slightly weird and goofy these games are absolutely absolutely bonkers Kat, you mentioned a Roomba from Hell and Armored for Armored Core. You literally fight a Roomba the size of a car in the last one. And you can do it <laughs> using sex toys because these games are completely wackadoo. Uh, also, I don't know a damn thing about this game. I don't know what they're doing with it or where it's going. But that, I feel like that is just, just what a wonderful, just perfect, like, you know, five course meal of just incoherent themes mixed together. To make something that I I don't know I, I feel like if if anybody saw this trailer and hadn't been paying attention to this series and is suddenly going hold on now what's going on here congratulations you have taken your first step into a much larger world because it was always I don't know I always thought Yakuza was just a uh, you know very serious tough guy stuff and then I saw a couple trailers where there was like weird goofy stuff in the margins and I was like this is interesting and it was like a weird <laughs> gift that popped up on Twitter that sold me on the series and I fell madly in love with it so. Yeah, I don't know. The, the Naked Man on the Beach trailer, if it piques your interest, give it a shot. You might enjoy yourself. Thank you for coming to my I bet you that butt sold at least one more copy of <laughs> that game, I bet. <laughs> Hold on now. This game has uh, butt cheeks in it. Sign me up. Where do I pre-order? Let me see this. Hey. If this isn't the exact <laughs> gameplay, I, this is the, it has to be the intro that leads into you running around looking for pants. Uh, that's what, that's the game I'm fully on board with. I, w I wouldn't put it past them, you know? I, I feel like that is extremely possible. Uh, the weird thing <laughs> is that they, the last one that was a fully, they had a fully localized English dub. Uh, you could typically do it in English or, you know, or in Japanese audio. This seems like it's going to have both. So if he washes up and you have it in English dub, is he going to be speaking English and everyone in uh, like all the blonde women are just going to be speaking Japanese to him? That's going to be a quandary. Anyway, we'll have to wait and see. I'm dying to know more about this one. Um, thankfully, it's not coming out this year because enough stuff already is. Um, Anyway, we uh, we are about at time here, but I wanted to thank you all so much for joining.